Okay, so I have these uh, pretty well dormant Hulls Hardy Almond. You watched some of my other videos where I planted some of them. Some of them were growing leaves and doing really good. Some of them, not so much. I'm gonna lay them down here and kind of go over what exactly was going on and kind of what I did. This one looked pretty well dead. Um, and what I just got done doing these is I soaked these trees in a bucket of water. I read online, some people do that. It's been uh, 16 hours or something. I know you're definitely not supposed to do it over 24 hours from what I've heard, um, but these got really green. So that, I mean, that's a good sign. No, no leaves so far, but these aren't, uh, I haven't had these quite as long as the other ones, but lots of green, so that's a good, healthy sign. And I'll be watching for them to butt out and leave. So I'm not worried about this one after soaking it in the water and rehydrating the roots really good, and they drink a lot of water. I had the about four gallon in a five gallon bucket, and there's like five trees here, and half of that water is gone. Um, I'm sure some of that's evaporation, but it was just in the garage, so... Uh, I don't know it's kind of hard to believe but I, I had no idea that you know that much water could go bye bye but yeah that's what that one looks like and how i'm reviving them somewhat i guess is about the only thing i had and maybe they still weren't wanting to come out of dormancy yet and maybe putting them in the bucket of water kind of done that but that green is amazing to see and especially like this is dark brown so that's older wood but you can tell that now you know because you got green coming out of it so that's awesome and then we have ones like this 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 is a smaller one still the same almond tree um however the entire top of it I'm trying to get it where you can see a little bit better maybe the entire top of it is dead now i might have got a little bit lucky right there my camera will zoom in maybe maybe not is the grafting point right there where it kind of curls and it looks like a a branch is growing out of another branch that's where these trees were grafted now i have blooms budding or whatever you want to call them here above that so i'll be able to get the true tree this way now from what i understand is you won't get a true tree if i'm if i'm going to be pulling uh buds you know that are growing from down here on the bottom like on the root system under where it was grafted once again i'm not sure why it's not focusing here i'm gonna try to get to focus right there you can really kind of see see how this is a burnt uh like the root system here what i'd call almost the trunk and then that's where it was grafted see where it grows out of there so i have this growth up here now what i'm told to do and i've done a bunch of tests none of the, all these buds are dried out up here might be my fault might be on uh, gurney's side that's where i bought them is gurney's um i mean it's just crumbling off it's dead the buds are so what i'm gonna do actually is come down here about uh four or five six inches above where i do have growth cut that off and allow the tree to focus all the energy on these and this these right here will become uh the new part of the tree now let's kind of look over some of these just the same now that does look pretty dry although that's a older scratch mark that was done actually a gurney's but a good sign is there's green now that's down closer so that's not as common or sorry that that's more common you know a little easier because that's closer to the the source here as you get to the top though this tree looked completely dead yesterday now after putting it in water Look at this green coming out of the top of the tree, which I'm thrilled about. That is awesome. So this one's going to be good, too. Phone's about, die, ho about to die. Hopefully it don't die in the middle of this. This one right here, I'm very worried about. I think there is nothing left um, much. If there is, you know, I'm not seeing any green on this tree. Look, with, look at the scratch mark I did yesterday right there. A little bit of a big scratch mark, but... I mean, it's pretty dark and not looking too good. So at least from here, I would assume the tree is probably dead all the way up. This might just have to be a loss. Um, I'm not too sure. I see something down here. What's that? Yeah, that's just... So I'm going to say this one's probably dead. I'll probably plant it anyway. Maybe not in my rows, but just in case. And then I'll move it later if it does, you know, end up doing good or something. Um, I might do another one last scratch test and kind of make my decision. These two, kind of having the same things going on here. This one, I have a little bitty tiny bit of growth right here. Sorry, my phone isn't wanting to focus again for whatever weird reason. And the grafting spot is right there. And I have these sprouts or budding out right there. Probably not good down there. Under That looks under the grafting mark. The one up here is above it. 
So I'll probably be good with this one. I'll still give this one more time as well. And then we got this one. This is doing good above the grafting mark two. See kind of the white is right there and the grafting point. So this one would be good and I'll probably end up having to cut the top off of this right here as well. Allow the tree to focus on the energy. So I'm gonna go plant these. And like I said with this one, <laughs> it's really hard telling. I would assume it just got too dry or something. It just could have been a dud. I wouldn't think they would have purposely sent this from Gurney's, but um, accident or anything. But I'm gonna probably go plant this somewhere else, maybe put it in a pot or something, see what happens. But that's kind of my experience with dormant trees. Um, we're getting somewhere, some of these I've had for about a week and a half. Some of them have been closer to three weeks. Um, so we'll just keep on trying. And you know, normally it'd be like, all right, I'll just, you just toss that tree, you know, if it don't do nothing. But I mean, these are 30 to $45 a piece for just a two foot tree, you know? So um, they're not the the cheapest trees in the world by any means. You know, there's $200 in trees here almost. There's, I think there's six of them, but um, anyway, that's it for this video. Thumbs up if it helps you at all. Like I said, I just soaked them in a bucket of water and that really helped me tell like that one, especially budding out up over there. That's awesome and it's starting to rain again on me so I'm gonna go try to get this or these back in the ground and see what happens. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.